us now with reaction. The author of the brand new book, Understanding Trump, former Speaker of the House, Fox News contributor, Newt Gingrich. Um, I honestly have been, you're laughing at me. I know why you're laughing at me, so don't even start. Because I've been so frustrated by this process, and you come on very sober, elder, elder statesman, statesman of the show, longtime friend and mentor, and you're just, Hannity, let me calmly walk, let me calmly walk you through the process. Go ahead, Look, calmly walk us through the process. Tonight, no, no. Be excited, <laughs> be happy, be positive. I am. This, I this am. Is Trump's, this is, you know, my newsletter tomorrow is going to be entitled Trump's Triumph. I mean, this is an extraordinary achievement. It is uh, three months earlier than Reagan got his tax cut. It is 13 months earlier than we got welfare reform. It is, a, it's, uh, I think, uh, five months earlier than they got Obamacare through. This is a room, I didn't think they could do it. I mean, I was very, very skeptical. Uh, they kept working, and, and I, I know you sometimes disagree with me on this, but Paul Ryan was in there every day trying to find votes. Mark Meadows was a great leader who said from the minute the original bill went down, we got to come together, we got to find a compromise. Meadows provided real leadership. Uh, Kevin McCarthy provided leadership. Reince Priebus hung in there when it was very tough. But in the end, All right, I'll it came agree down with you. to Donald right, J. You, Trump. Okay? All right. I, I would say Mark Meadows and the Freedom Caucus, the young sung heroes, because they never stop. I am happy. I'm not complaining. I give credit to the, to the speaker. I just said it, okay, because I've been very critical. Um, right, number two, good. I give, and the White House, I know Reince Priebus worked hard day and night. I know for a fact, because I talk to these guys on a regular basis, and they weren't exactly always happy with me. Tell us, tell, yeah. I agree with the Vice President, this is a good start. Tell us why you like this. Look, here's what I really like. They hit a wall. They backed up. They tried a second time, and they knew they were going to hit the wall, so they didn't take the vote. They kept working. They kept talking. Trump kept talking to people as late as yesterday, individually, developing amendments, thinking things through. The art of the deal, come to Washington, D.C. The president would never back off. He would never give up. Now, the reason I really like this, this is the hardest thing they're going to try to do. It is totally partisan. It's impossible for Democrats to be for it. It's one-fifth of the economy, and it's life and death. And despite everything, and I have to tell you, I'm very impressed. I was not at all confident they could pull this off. They have just willed their way to talking with each other. Moderates like Fred Upton, who came forward with a very important amendment. As you said, people like Mark Meadows of the Freedom Caucus, all the leadership working as a team, the vice president pitching in, the president doing, I mean, an amazing number. Somebody should get the total number of conversations and meetings that President Trump has had to get this done. And the reason I'm excited by it is they didn't back off. They didn't, they didn't flinch. They didn't say it's not possible. This makes me think when we get to, to a job-creating tax cut bill, when we get to really reforming the government and draining the swamp, we're seeing how serious President Trump is, and we're seeing a Republican Party which is maturing in front of our very eyes. Finally, I'm excited, Sean, because I've been an active conservative my whole life. I think conservatives don't relax and celebrate when they have something <laughs> really big to celebrate. And right, this I is by the really way, big. I mean, we are repealing Obamacare. You, you I know yes. you know, because we go back since 1990, I know you know how to celebrate because I remember drinking a big can of beer called Foster's Lager with you, if you remember back in those days. So... I think you're right. I'll take right. your elder statesman perspective, and I think it's a big win. Absolutely, and I am happy about it, and I love that every, the Democrats are under. I'm saying every, look, I'm saying this to the whole audience. Every conservative you know in this country ought to take a deep breath, relax for one day, celebrate. They have a double win. They don't have Hillary Clinton, and they just repealed Obamacare. I mean, if that doesn't give you a reason to have a good weekend, you know, I don't know what could. <laughs> You know what? I think I'll take off tomorrow, just because of you. All right. Uh, we'll have more. We'll have more of the former speaker.